Well, okay, welcome to the extended version of the bar side chat. And uh, here we have Brandon once again, and we're here to talk about trainers. You know, it's getting to be that time of season, people are breaking out the bikes, you're skiing all year, especially around here. Um, and yeah, you're looking to get a little time on the bike. So go ahead and tell us about this little Cyclops trainer, Brandon. All right, so this is the Mag Plus with remote. Um, we actually have a remote that's gonna mount on your handlebar, and it has five different settings of resistance. So without having to get off your trainer, you can actually take and with this cable actu actuated remote, uh, adjust the base resistance. Uh, with any of our trainers, whether it's uh, a magnetic trainer, a fluid trainer, or a wind trainer, we're gonna be shifting pretty consistently to gain the resistance we're looking for. Um, and so, uh, to point out some of the features of any trainer, um, we're gonna talk about the drum, which is where the tire comes in contact with. Uh, we've got the tension adjuster screw, uh, which is gonna take and also uh, actually bring the drum in contact with the tire. And then we also are typically gonna have folding legs. Uh, in some cases, as we move down through the line, uh, you'll see we actually will gain adjustable height uh, of the actual rear wheel height there. You know, the magnetic trainer is going to take and be a little bit louder than our uh, fluid trainer, but it's gonna be quieter than a wind trainer. And these are going to be a little bit more budget conscious. It's going to get you into a good trainer that's going to last a long time, uh, but you're not going to necessarily see all the bells and whistles uh, of one of our more uh, higher end trainers. You know, anyone that rides a trainer is going to know uh, some of the other others can hum a bit, a little louder. So this particular trainer is a fluid trainer, so it's going to be uh, smoother. Um, and not nearly as loud. Now, this trainer doesn't have any resistance settings like our magnetic trainer because that progressive resistance. Point, this is going right. to take and do everything for you without having to push a dial or get off and adjust something. Uh, so that's definitely a, a selling point here because you, it's going to be a, a much easier trainer to use and work with you based on the workout you're looking for. Uh, moving on, uh, we've got the Kirk Kinetic uh, Road Machine, and uh, this is going to take and be probably one of the more popular units on the market right now. Uh, this again is a fluid trainer. Uh, we can see a little bit more clearly all these fins and uh, the actual casing of that fluid. The biggest difference between the Kinetic Road Machine and the Cyclops is going to be the drum size. That drum size is going to get a little bit larger in diameter, which is going to help things cool down a little bit. And we also have a larger flywheel. Now that flywheel is going to take when we stop pedaling, it's going to keep that rear wheel moving a little bit more. And when you start to pedal again, you're not going to have to uh, be in this really high gear from when you stop before. Again, adjustable height. And it should be noted that all three of these trainers have a quick release mechanism for getting the bike in and out. There's uh, some accessories that might come along with uh, trainers. Um, you know, I think uh, a tire is a key item, wouldn't you say, Brandon? Well, definitely. We need a tire on a bike, but why, why a trainer tire? Well, you're going to have a harder compound. It's actually going to last much longer. If you were to use a traditional tire, you're probably going to wear that tire out really quickly. A trainer tire is definitely worth the investment. Uh, one other accessory that is I think pretty crucial to any trainer, even if it's adjustable height, is a riser block. Uh, we can actually lower the front of the bike or even raise it to mimic a, you know, like a hill or something like that if we want to change our chaining uh, pitch. One of the things that we really recommend doing is taking and getting one of the Chris Carmichael CTS uh, videos. There's on the bike actual trainer sessions as well as off the bike videos. A little bit more engagement maybe with something like this. Most definitely. All right, thanks for joining us once again. Bar Side Chat here at Fitzgerald's Bicycles in conjunction with the Nine Bar. Cheers.